given that y equal to 4x cubed times 3x plus 1 power 5, find dy dx. We have now two functions of x. The first one is 4x cubed. The other one is 3x plus 1 power 5 being multiplied together. So to expand this function 3x plus 1 power 5, the process is quite tedious. So we have to use the product rule. Remember the product rule dy dx equal to u dv dx plus v du dx. So our dy dx here equal to, first you copy down the first function that is 4x cubed multiplied by the differentiate of the second function. Second function is a composite function. To differentiate this, we'll bring the power 5 in front. Copy down the main function, 3x plus 1. The power 5 reduced by 1, we have 4. Remember to differentiate the function inside. I have 3 plus, now I copy down the second function, that is my 3x plus 1 power 5. Multiply with the differentiate of the first function, which is 12x squared. Next, I'm going to arrange everything in order. Always put your number first. I have 4 times 5 times 3, which equal to 60. So I have 60. I have an x cubed here, 60x cubed times 3x plus 1 power 4 plus 12x squared times 3x plus 1 power 5. Note that we already differentiate the function and then arrange everything in order. Now the final step is to factoring the term here. This is the most tricky part here. Listen carefully. I will call this term as the first term and this term as the second term. To factor these two terms, first, I'm looking at my number 60 and 12 here. The highest common factor equal to 12, so I pull out my 12. Next, I look at x power 3 and x power 2. Always pull out the lowest power, that is my x squared. Then I have 3x plus 1 power 4 and 3x plus 1 power 5. Again, I'm going to pull up 3x plus 1 power 4. That is the lowest power. And then I have the term here, which is I have the plus in the middle. Remember, 12x squared times 3x plus 1 power 4 times with this term here, I'm going to get back my first term. So we see what's missing out here. I need 12 times 5 to get 60. x squared times x to get my x cubed. And the 3x plus 4 terms is already being pulled out. The second term here, I need 12 already here and the x squared here. 3x plus 1 power 4, I need another one of 3x plus 1 power 1 in order to get 3x plus 1 power 5. To check this, 12x squared times 3x plus 1 power 4 times 5x, I'll get back my first term, and 12x squared times 3x plus 1 power 4 times with 3x plus 1 here, I will get back my second term. So the next step, we simplify everything. We have 12x squared times 3x plus 1, power 4, 5x plus 3f, I 8x plus 1. That is the final answer for the derivative.